Hi, I'm April Adair and this is my husband Matt and we've been coming to Faith Church for four years now. We have three little girls and another girl on the way. The first time we found out we were pregnant, we had tried for, I'd say 14 months and it was the most joyous over emotional. <laughs> I mean, it was crazy. Um, I bawled my eyes out. I called Matt at work, bawling. He thought I was in a horrible car accident. <laughs> yeah, when I when April called me and let me know, I like she said, I I thought she was hurt or in trouble somehow. And when I finally caught those few words that made me realize that she was saying she pregnant I was so excited um, just a flood of emotions came up and I definitely did not want to be at work after that um, it was it was it was just a great feeling to be able to find out that hey I'm gonna be a dad he finally figured out that I was telling him that I was pregnant and it was the most joyous thing in the world for us because it was our heart's desire and that's what we really wanted. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying, and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb, and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus. He will be great, and we will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his father David and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. And Mary said to the angel, How will this be, since I am a virgin? And the angel answered her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son, and this is the sixth month with her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, I am the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Um, God has shown our family love by, I guess, blessing us with three, almost four girls. Uh, Matt and I both grew up in a, a family that was all boys. I had four brothers. He had three brothers. and. It's been interesting learning how to um, relate to emotions. I was brought up not allowed to express my emotions, not allowed to express um, much of what a girl is made of. And I think girls are very loving, very, I think they're epitome of love. And it's, um, it's interesting seeing Matt, you know, the tenderness that a a dad has when he has a little girl in his life. You can you can just tell dads that have all the boys and dads that have girls and how tender and loving that they become even though Matt was pretty you know non-emotional when I met him. He was pretty level-headed and steady but the, the minute he had the minute Grace was born our oldest he like <laughs> it, was, it was so fun to see like in the hospital how he just broke down and <laughs> it, it was amazing to me to see how a little a little being that God gave us was powerful enough to you know break this you know manly man's <laughs> you know break him down and show that you know he could be emotional and it was pretty cool <laughs> I'll admit I did cry <laughs> for, for, for each one probably for the next one too <laughs> of course <laughs>